<laughs> so now the GPTs are, um, I'm in there every single day, so it's easier for me to kind of like conceptualize them. Let me figure out an easy way of saying. So they're not like prompts. What they are is, is in theory, your own customized built version of ChatGPT, where you take the knowledge and the language and all the capabilities of it. But then what you do is, is you go back and you instruct it and teach it on one specific topic, for instance. So maybe you write out uh, 50 pages on a biography of a, I mean, this is a very simple example, but a biography of a super advanced nutritionalist. And then you give it all the documents specifically on that method of thinking and nutrition. And you're giving it all of this. And then once you're done with all of that, you program it or you, Basically, I, I haven't seen the functionality, I haven't made one yet, but basically you're pushing that and that's the GPT. So now when you wanna go use that nutrition bot, you're just grabbing that bot and asking questions. You don't have to train it already. So basically it's giving you the ability to train your own language processor exactly how you want it trained and then packaging it up as its own pre-trained bot that you can then update as you go versus without the gpts what you've had to do is essentially um spend all your time coaching it like for instance the one i use all the time for helping me get uh scopes of work ready for tree fast i spent like 20 minutes coaching it and teaching it what tree is. You see what I'm saying? And because also the, the uh, GPT-4's memory wasn't that long, eventually it will tap out and forget parts that I told it about tree. You see what I'm saying? But with, the G, uh, with this model, I could literally create one, teach it every single concept of tree, give it all the code of tree from GitHub and everything. Um, and then basically package it up. And so now when I'm working with it, I can literally tell it, you know, hey man, we're trying to do this feature, draw it out right here, uh, spit me out some uh, instructions or scopes of work. Or actually now it reasonably can spit out some decent code. See, that's been the main thing. You, you keep, uh, you, you've kept bringing up the code writing within GPT-4 and you see it all the time on Twitter. But the big thing, and I know there's use cases that people are doing, and the fact that a robot can write code is badass, but the reason why it's not been relevant to me for quite a while is, yeah, you can write me a little script on, you know, whatever tiny little, you know, widget thing, like think of like Chrome extensions or something. You could write me a few scripts for performing some actions, but you're not gonna be able to actually build code off of or for our apps because it doesn't A, have the memory or B, have any way to teach it everything about our app to know, you know, what APIs to call, what syntax to use, what language each thing is reading our database. Do you see what I'm saying? So it's basically like, yeah, it could build me a shelf, but it can't work on the house because it can't see the rest of the house. But with these GPTs, um, maybe not here initially, but it will definitely evolve into the point that you can give that GPT your entire code base of your whole app, have it fully understand it. And what's amazing with GPT-4, I just thought about this, I don't know if anyone said this already, um, or with AI, I guess in general, is you could give it your whole freaking app and the documentation for the app. And it not only will read all the code of the app, but if you use comments within your code, like, and comment and explain what each part is, what you should if you're coding correctly um, or properly, um, it will read the comments too and know the functions not only will it be able to know the functions of the code because it knows code, but then it can see what you're trying to do with the code by the comments. Plus, if you have technical documentation, which big organizations definitely do, ours we definitely do for a startup. 
we have a shit ton but that's just because we've we run a uh, dev company so like we're used to writing documentation because our clients need it um but most startups they don't even have much tech documentation at all because only a couple guys coding and they don't need to document what they're doing because they know what they're doing where with the big company or when we do it for a client we have to document what we're doing in the code so if another engineer comes in and works on it they can read that documentation and see what's going on you see what i'm saying so my point of explaining all of that is to say even without the documentation because it's a language processor and it can read it can literally just read the comments that developers leave within the code and know what the code is doing like this is image upload um api you see what i'm saying not code plain english it can read plain english and it can read code which is badass and if you can top it off by giving it tech documentations boom now you can have the tree assistant boom within our in-house uh engineering team and gpt4 probably can be cranking out um pretty it, this probably won't happen this year but i would see this possibly happening by the next year by the end of next year that there should be a lot of algorithmic function based could be potentially quite a bit of capabilities where it can literally replace engineers in our code because we can give it the whole code base documentation Thank you.